The electron structure worksheet. You should have this if you need to pick it up. It's on the website under electron structure worksheet. And so that's what you'd look for on the website under unit three, electron structure worksheet. Now there are several things we're gonna be writing here in the electron structure worksheet. We're going to be writing the electron configuration notation. You're going to be drawing electron dot diagrams. And you're going to write orbital notation diagrams. We're going to actually learn something called the noble gas abbreviation as we're working on these. And we're going to use those on the bold-faced problems. And so I'm going to do a few of these. And um, um, then let you work at completing the rest. So chlorine. How am I going to do chlorine? I'm going to look first of all at chlorine and see that it is atomic number, looking at my periodic table here, atomic number 17. So I know that it has 17 electrons. So I'm going to use the rule I learned earlier of the order in which the electrons fill. And I'm going to do 1s2. I know 2s2 is next. I know 2p is next, and it can hold 6. And I'm going to just add, keep going until I get to uh, 17 electrons. So there's 10, and then 3s will hold 2. That's 12. I only need 5 more electrons, so that's going to be 3p, 5, and that should be my 17 electrons. Now my orbital notation is going to be the 1s, the 2s, the 2p. Now remember, s has one orbital. P has 3, and then 3s has 1 orbital, 3p has 3 orbitals. And I'm going to put in my 17 electrons, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 electrons. Now. My electron dot structure is going to show the electrons in the highest energy level. That's going to be the third energy level. So I'm going to draw in these seven electrons. So those are going to look something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. See if I can get this out of the way. Come on, way out of the way. There we go. Seven valence electrons. Ah, having trouble with this. There we go. See if it'll stay there. <laughs> so that's how this process works. Let's look at chromium. Chromium here is B. I'm going to give myself plenty of room to work with. You won't have any difficulty getting into that space, but I want to write a little bit larger. So I'm going to give myself a little more room to write and bring up my pen again. And here, we're going to look at chromium. Chromium is CR. We're going to look at our periodic table and see what atomic number that is. Here, chromium. Chromium is kind of right in the middle of our periodic table on the fourth row. It's atomic number 24. So number 24, just to kind of remind us. 
And we're going to go through these in the order. We're going to use that diagonal rule that we wrote down earlier. And we're going to go 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. What comes after 3p? 4s, 2, let's see how many electrons we have, 2, 4, and 6, that brings us to 10 right there, 2 and 6 is 8, and 2 more brings us to 20, and we need to get 24. What comes after 2s, uh, excuse me, 4s? Uh, if you look at that diagonal rule, you'll see that it was um, 3, on eraser 3d we need four more electrons so that's going to be 3d4 well let's look at the orbital notation the 1s of course s has one orbital 2s of course s has one orbital 2p well p has three orbitals 3s has one orbital, 3p, p has three orbitals, 4s has one orbital, and then 3d, d has five orbitals. So we're going to put in our 24 electrons, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Now remember, we, Hun's rule says that we put those in separate orbitals before we begin to pair them. Now the electron dot structure is going to just show the electrons of the highest energy level. 4 is the highest energy level and so there are only two electrons in our electron dot structure. And we're going to draw those paired just like you see them paired. Excuse me once again. You're going to see those paired just like we see them there. So that's the entire part of that assignment. Now you'll see that selenium is in bold. Now this is something a little bit new, and so we're going to look at how to do a shortcut. Yay! So we don't have to write quite as much stuff. So, selenium, I'm looking up selenium, S-E, where is it? It's hiding from me. I have a tiny periodic table that I'm looking at, having trouble finding selenium. It is atomic number 34, and so... Um, that's the piece of information we need to know, 34 electrons. Now, what I want to show you is this. If you look at selenium, where it is on the periodic table, you're going to see that if you move back and you count down, 33, 32, and count back, you're going to eventually come to a noble gas, one of those things in the last column of the periodic table. Now if you count back for selenium, if you look at your periodic table and you count back from selenium, atomic number 34, you're going to come back to argon eventually, that's number 18, that's a noble gas. And we, we often, to make a shortcut of this, use the noble gas with 18 with the previous noble gas in this case it's argon which has 18 electrons i'm going to find that here in the work that i've done in red 18 electrons I'm looking for a button there it is 
2, 4, so there's 10, 12, 18. Right here, this is the configuration, and this is the orbital notation for argon. So if, when I go to do selenium, I just put the symbol argon in square brackets, that stands for those first 18 electrons. Now, as I continue, what comes after argon here is 4s2 and then 3d. Now d, remember, can hold up to 10 electrons. So where am I at this point? I have 18. That's what we have here for argon. And I guess if we wanted to write it like that, it would be appropriate to write um, that little symbol down here, because that's the number of protons or the number of electrons in a neutral atom. So there's 18, 19, 20. So suddenly we're up to 30, and we only have to go to 34. What comes after 3D? Well, if we're following our diagonal rule, the thing that comes after 3D is 4P. 4P. So we need four more electrons, so that's going to be 4P4. Now, when I do the orbital notation, I can do the same thing. I can put argon in square brackets. I can put an 18 if I want to remind myself how many electrons that represents. And then I'm going to have 4s. That's this orbital. I'm going to have 3d, keeping in mind that d has five orbitals. And then 4p, which has three orbitals. So you're going to want to think about how you present this on your paper. You're going to want it you know, kind of neat. You're going to think about how you're going to organize those to make sure people can see that they're grouped 4s, 3d, and 4p, that they're kind of grouped together somehow. And then we're going to sketch in our electrons. See, we've got 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. So now, what is the electron dot structure for selenium? The electron dot structure for selenium is going to be the selenium, Se, and the highest energy level electrons. Well, the highest energy level is 4, but we find those in two places, here and here. So we've got to draw all of those in our dot structure. And I'm going to do that in red, I think. I'm going to put the two here together because these two are together. I'm going to put these two together because right here, these are together. And then I'm going to put a couple of them by themselves because these are by themselves. So that's the electron dot structure for selenium. Silicon you've done, phosphorus you've done, you can look back in your notes for those. Magnesium you've done, pota oh, this is going to be too easy. Nickel you can figure out, but you can use that abbreviation for nickel. Now, nickel is atomic number. Once again, I find myself searching for it. There it is, number 28. So you're going to be looking for 28 electrons. If you go back to the previous noble gas from nickel, I'm looking back. It's going to be argon. And remember, argon, if I put it in parentheses, that stands for those first 18 electrons. Now, argon is in the third row. So immediately after argon in the third row, we start the fourth row, 
which is 4s, and I'm trying to get up to 28, 4s2, after 4s is 3d, now I only need 28 electrons, and I'm up to 20, so I need 8 more, does that add up to 28? 18 from argon, 19, 20, and 8 more is 28, so that's the orbital, uh, the electron configuration notation, you're going to want to be sure and put the orbital notation. And if you want to put it right under that, I suppose you can. So there's the S and the D. Now I think you're going to have to put a separate label on those because uh, otherwise it's going to get confusing where the D electrons are. Anyhow, one, two, three, four. Well, I'm getting these 8 in, right? Or I could count it like this, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. But what's the electron dot structure for nickel? There's only two electrons in this highest energy level. So we're going to draw those here and here. So you have a few more of those to work on, and if you want to check your assignment, you can go to the website and go to Unit 3, and you'll find the key for this assignment there at Unit 3.